Hi, I'm Simon. I'm a lecturer in the School of Public Health and this is one of my students, Bianca, and we're here to answer some of your questions today. Oh, looks like I've got the first card, Simon. What are some of the coolest jobs your former students are doing? Oh, that's an interesting <laughs> one. So one of the coolest jobs is um, working for the World Health Organisation in Geneva. Uh, we have a student who went from our master's program straight into the World Health Organisation. Uh, and I think she's remained there. So that was uh, one of them. Wow, um, that's amazing. Yeah, so we have a, a, a number of others. I have another student who uh, runs um, tuberculosis control programs in Africa. He's from uh, Uganda. Wow, all over the world. <laughs> yes, yes. And, and then a lot of students locally. We have some great students working for uh, local Brisbane-based companies. Okay, so Bianca, next question. What has been the most unexpected thing you have been happy to discover at UQ? For me, it was discovering the community of the students at UQ. So not only within my lectures and tutorials, building up a really strong foundation with my friends who I'm hoping someday will be my colleagues, um, but also the extracurricular activities that UQ provides. There are so many different organisations, clubs, and opportunities that you can find at UQ. Um, I've been very involved in student activity and life on campus myself, and I think it's enriched my student experience tremendously. Oh, that's great. Okay. What is it about UQ's approach that makes us the most employable graduates in the state? So UQ at the moment is, is unique in that the investment in our teaching programs, particularly the online programs and the, uh, the investment in um, blended learning and innovative teaching practices and work integrated learning has really improved our capacity as academics to deliver a I suppose an experience that helps people transition to the workforce and doesn't leave them at the end with a, with a sense of uh, needing to take the first, next step by themselves. Mm -hmm. um, the, it's it's uh, a very positive environment that's focused on student employability uh, and I think that's probably what I consider to be one of the most unique perspectives. Mm, I'm about to embark on one of those placements myself next semester, I'm very excited about it. Oh that's great. So Simon, the next question, why did you choose to work in public health? So public health is a, is, is a fascinating field and it's so important in managing health in the future. And the reason for that is that public health focuses on populations and on the bigger picture of problems and, and less on the individual. And the reason that's important is a lot of the, the simple health problems that we face have been solved with technologies or vaccines. What we're left with now are these complex uh, problems that are really difficult. We call them wicked problems. And so what we like to think in public health is that we're saving lives a thousand at a time rather than focusing on the individual. So for us really public health is, um, is an essential part because prevention really is, is better than cure. Mm. Prevention is something that uh, enables us to redirect all of our other efforts into um, other areas rather than spending them on things that we can prevent. What does a day in the life of a public health student look like? Very good question and I personally think it looks quite great. We have a whole different things that make up a day. So often you'll start by going to one of your lectures where you get to hear fantastic researchers in their field such as yourself talk about their understanding and knowledge they've gained through their research um, and then we often have a few lectorials which is one of my favourite deliveries. Um, it gives the option for us to have an engagement and interaction with the presenter about what they've done with their knowledge and how they've applied that in a practical sense and it also gives us as students a chance to take the knowledge that we've gained from our lectures, pracs and really put it into perspective and really put a practical interactive approach towards solving real world problems that are presented to us. As I mentioned then, practicals, we also go to quite a few practicals to get a hands-on understanding of the different ways that we can implement programs as well as understanding science in a hands-on manner. Um, but my favourite part of the day is always being able to catch up with friends in the library and study groups and um, getting the sneaky coffee in between lectures and tutorials as well. Okay, next question Simon. What opportunities do your students have to get hands-on experience in our industry? 
It's a great question. We have a very strong link to our, our industry and our industry is very broad. Public health is, is not a specific discipline, it's a, it's a number of disciplines and so our students really have a, our graduates should I say, have a much broader range of opportunities. They can be quite hard to find at times but they are across a, a range of industries so we have um, government and non-government industries as well as private sector. What we do is, uh, certainly in our undergraduate program, the program you're coming to the end of, um, we, we have a placement, a workplace placement, which is uh, across one semester. A number of our students get their, their first um, sort of practical internship and even their first job from these placements. Mm -hmm. And the range of organisations uh, include um, Stephanie Alexander's Gardens, um, various um, parts of Queensland Health and um, we also then follow that up in our postgraduate program we've deliberately implemented a placements program. So next question Bianca, how does the way you learn at UQ teach you the skills you need to face an unknown future? Fantastic question Simon. Um, I think that UQ has equipped me quite well to deal with an unknown future. Um, given the current climate we've just gone through as well, it's really opened our eyes to how important, particularly in the health sphere, um, being adaptable within your work is going to be crucial to help tackle these emerging health problems. Um, all of you, yourself and all the other amazing lecturers are doing fantastic research within your respective fields and understanding your journey to where you've got to your current research goals is very fascinating and allows us to really have that in our minds while we're going through our studies and really allows us to think about what we're learning and how it can be adapted to the future. Alright Simon, so next question is, how do you prepare students for the future when we don't know what the future looks like? Excellent question Bianca. So you're quite right, we don't know what the future looks like but we, we do know that the future is um, becoming more complex and the problems we're dealing with are more complex and the solutions are more difficult. So what we do is we, we focus on uh, equipping students with, with the capacity to think and to analyse and so our main emphasis really is on ensuring that students are able to look at a problem and to really understand the context because with the context comes an understanding of the uh, solutions that are available to you and also to then um, look for what would be a, an appropriate way of managing those. But also more importantly is to help people, other people outside of the health sector understand what the problems are and how, how they can contribute to solutions. And we really work very hard ensuring that um, there's a diversity of experiences in our programs and also that students are given lots of opportunities to apply knowledge and to demonstrate that they can think. It's really the, the critical step. What do you think employers in the health industry are looking for? And how do you think UQ has equipped you with these skills? Well, I think employees in the health industry really value the ability to be adaptive being able to take the knowledge you've gained from your studies and your career and adapting it to the situations that's presented to you, particularly in a field such as health where we're always facing new and unforeseen challenges, is a very valuable skill. And the tutorial and lectorials that we get to be able to do during the Health Sciences Program allow us to practice that during our undergraduate degree in being presented with an unknown situation and adapting our knowledge to target and present potential solutions to that challenge. And another thing I think assists with being able to really have a good adaptive nature in your work is being able to be creative and look at things from a different perspective that you might not have previously considered or others might have overlooked. And I think that being able to engage with so many different lectures, tutorials, guest presenters allows you to understand different perspectives and really highlights the importance of that creativeness in your work and I think being able to talk to those lecturers has really enhanced that ability not just in myself but in my other undergraduate students. Okay Simon, next question is if you could give me one piece of advice that would set me apart as a job candidate what would it be? Just one piece of advice. <laughs> <coughs> so one piece of advice would be oh, I can't do one. So 
One piece of advice, the most important one I think, is, is networking. Is to understand your industry, understand where you seek to go and to build networks that, that enable you to get there and provide you with the support. Uh, a large proportion of our graduates and other graduates really do get their first job through their networks and that network could be through your internship, through your placements, but also through the lecturers you know and the academic staff. Okay Bianca, next question. Oh, okay, I have the last question. What have you learnt about yourself since you began your studies at UQ? Well, that's a very, very big question and I can honestly say I've, I've learnt so much. Um, Throughout my years doing the Bachelor of Health Sciences degree, not only have I learnt so much knowledge about a field when I started I never thought I would have, but also UQ has really helped me develop my confidence and leadership abilities. Um, I never thought that I would be at uni and be the president of one of the student clubs on campus and I never thought I'd have the confidence to be able to interact with my lecturers and build up my network to be able to go into the professional world and start my career, which I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, so it's really provided me with so many different avenues that were never possible in my mind when I graduated high school. And I am very, very thankful for all the opportunities that UQ have, has given me. Thank you. We got there. Well done. <laughs>